Hello YouTubers, this is Lance. Today we're going to talk a little bit about 3D TVs. I've had some questions from some of you guys about active and passive 3D, what kind of glasses you need, uh, whether you need a 3D TV or not to watch the 3D movies like Blu-rays. And yes, you definitely need a 3D TV. Uh, my video that I've made talking about 3D is a Vizio 3D TV. It's passive 3D, but we're going to talk about active and passive today. Uh, the active 3D TVs use the glasses that they're a little more expensive and they do require batteries. And it says here that active 3D is more prone to crosstalk issues. I can't comment on that because I've only seen passive 3D TVs. I've never used the uh, glasses that are run on batteries with the active 3D, so I'm not sure what the difference really is. Uh, the passive 3D, it does not require batteries. Those are the same kind of glasses that you can use at the theater. If you have, like I do, I have a pair of clip-on passive 3D glasses that clip onto my prescription glasses. I take those to the theater. Uh, but they will not work in IMAX. We're going to get into that a little later. Uh, but it says the passive 3D is more comfortable for the eyes, no flickering, so less dizziness. Apparently the uh, active 3D uses flickering left and right. You can see the little animated picture here to create the 3D image. Passive 3D does not do that, so apparently you're less dizzy after a movie which works for me. I'll stick with the passive 3D. It says that it has half the vertical resolution, only 1920 by 540. Uh, Active 3D says that it's full 1080p, 1920 by 1080. Again, I can't comment either way on that. All I've seen is passive 3D, but the 3D seems to be great on my passive 3D TV, so I'll stick with it. Uh, Getting into IMAX, like I said, the uh, the glasses are compatible for passive 3D in regular theaters and on your passive 3D TV. They work either way. Uh, but in IMAX, I just found this out. I went and watched the new Star Wars in IMAX 3D. I took my clip-on passive 3D glasses, and when the movie started, it was not working. I could tell that it was the 3D wasn't being shown through my passive 3D glasses. So I put on the glasses that the theater provided me for IMAX and of course it was fine. Well, I got home after the movie and started doing some research on what the difference was and apparently IMAX uses a different format than the passive 3D. They use a format it's called 0 slash 90 degrees 3D so you have to have special glasses uh, to watch those if you use the clip-ons like I do and Amazon sells those there uh, there's two different formats there's a 0 slash 90 and a 45 slash 135 you want the 0 slash 90 glasses if you're going to buy some to use in IMAX that's apparently that's what all IMAX theaters use is the 0 slash 90 format so just wanted to pass on this information. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to post below. And I'm going to leave this link in the description to this website if you want to read some more on active versus passive 3D. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care.